Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry if it sounds like I'm rushing through this one a little bit, but I just recorded this whole thing and I figured out my microphone was muted the whole time. And um, there's quite a bit to cover in this tutorial. So yeah, let's jump right into it. I constantly get asked the question about how I record my Counter-Strike videos. Um, I get people on Steam and people on YouTube asking me if I use Fraps or can I link them to a good game recording program but what I use is a movie config and it's hard to explain but by the end of this tutorial you should be able to record really really high quality Counter Strike videos so um, let's jump right into it the movie config I'll be using and the one I recommend you download is Delivery's config here now I've put the link to his video in the description because I just don't want to re-upload it and I want to give him some credit for it now it's a really really good config in my opinion and it's the one I've been using since I've been making Counter Strike videos so once you download that, you've got this .rar file here. Now what you need to do is open your C strike folder, which is here. If you don't know how to do that, go to my computer, your local drive, program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, your username, then Counter Strike Source, and it's right there. Now you can see you've got C strike in both of these folders. So what you do is open this one, open this one, and drag all of these files in. Now before you do that, make sure you make a backup if you're on your main account. So if you've only got one account, rename your C strike folder, C strike 1. Then just drag C strike in and your counter strike will automatically detect that this is the right folder. So what that pretty much does is it sets up your game to be the exact settings and the best settings for movie making and it lets you take um, the best quality video that you can actually get. So, um, if you have two accounts, which I use, um, you can just have one account totally set to this C-Strike folder, the movie config one, and then I just have my main account as my game account. And the point of this is, if you get a config with high quality models, you can actually get backband because the high quality models, some require a movie making hack, and it works the same as a normal hack, and you can get backband from it, I'm pretty sure. So, you got to be careful with that. Also, if I had them on the same account, my playtime would be massive, and people think I'm just a giant nerd at Counter-Strike. And I'm bad at Counter-Strike, and yeah. Anyway, so what we'll do is um, just delete that, rename this C-Strike 1, and um, yeah. So I'm using my secondary account at the moment, that's why I've only got one. So now that we've dragged all of these files into there, just uh, drag it'll ask you to override and override everything it asks you so now that we've done that we can go ahead and open Counter-Strike now first thing you'll notice when it opens with the movie config is it'll automatically adjust all of your graphics settings so it's the best you can have for movie making there's only one thing that I change with this config though and that is if you go to settings, video, advanced I always enable motion blur um, I don't think this config automatically disables or enables it, I think it just runs on what you last had when you were playing, but anyway, I always make sure it's enabled because, in my opinion, it helps smooth out the footage and it just looks a lot better. So you can see all the graphic settings are right, and here's the controls for the movie config. So the first thing I did when I first started making videos was I just copied these, opened notepad, and pasted it to the side here. So I didn't have to keep opening console while recording, and I just had all the uh, right controls to the side. But um, I won't worry about that. So now what we need to do is open a demo. So you can just click here, click demo player, click load, and open a random demo. So the demo shouldn't take too long to open. Alright, so now that the demo is opened, as you can see, this is a Source TV demo, which means I can spectate any player. And um, let's just say the frag starts right here on this guy. Let's just say he gets an epic um, five kills right here. What we can do is if we pause this demo by again clicking demo player, you can pause it. Then if we read the controls you can see um, pressing F1 to F8 starts recording. But before we do that we want to make sure we have the right settings. So pressing F10 records at 500 frames per second. So that f is for frag parts and 1000 frames per second is the best for smooths which is when you see the enemies dying so let's just say we want to record at 500 frames per second we will press F10 on our keyboard 
Now if we click demo player and click resume, you'll see the game will be a lot slower now. And that's because it's at a lot higher frame rate. Um, now we can go ahead and press F1 and it'll look like it's going in slow motion or it'll look really really laggy. But don't worry about this, by the time we're finished it'll be a perfectly good Counter Strike clip. So this will take a while and the higher frame rate you have the longer it's going to take to record and the bigger the file size will be. So now that this is recording, you got to leave it until um, the frag is finished or however long you want to record for. Now you can you can open Steam Overlay while you're doing this and you can Alt Tab, but just make sure you don't switch camera angles and everything otherwise, you know, you'll get a random quick switch in your final video. All right, so let's just say our demo has finished recording there and press F12 to stop recording as it says in the options. So now we can go ahead and quit Counter-Strike. So now if we go back to our C-Strike folder, which I've made a shortcut for mine and I recommend you do the same, it saves so much time. Um, there will be lots of these screenshots here. And the longer you record for, the more screenshots there will be. Now you need to download a program called Virtual Dub because we need to change all of these screenshots into an AVI file. So then we can import it into our editor and start editing a movie. So I've put a link in the description again to this program called Virtual Dub. So what we can do now is open Virtual Dub and import the very first .tga file, which is this 10,000 one. So it'll automatically detect it's a sequence and import all the ones after it. So there we go, mine's only 710 frames long, so it's about a second and a half. And what we do now is import our audio. So click audio, audio from other file, go back to our C strike folder, and it'll be right here. Click open, and now our audio is in there. Now there's a few settings inside of Virtual Dub that we need to fix. So the first one, go video, color depth. On the left hand side, we want to make sure 32 bit RGB is selected. So click that, and then set as default, click OK. Now, next we want to go video, make sure full processing mode is um, selected, and that's uncompressed footage. So the file sizes are going to be really, really big, but the quality will be perfect. Um, the final thing we need to do is change the frame rate so it's not really slow and it's correct speed. So we know we recorded at 500 frames per second, so type 500, or you can just click change so video and audio match. Uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference, so click OK, File, Save as AVI, and then we'll just call it Tutorial. Then this will render out, and we'll, the final product will be an AVI file. So I'll just pause this and resume it when it's done. Alright, so there we go, mine's finished. Then we can close out a virtual dub, and we're left with our AVI file here. And for a one second clip, it's 2 gigabytes. So as you can see, the file sizes are absolutely huge. So that's why if we look at my hard drive space, I've only got 23 gigabytes left. And that's because if we go into my Infusion 3 folder, I have 300 gigabytes of clips. Um, okay, so now after Virtual Dub has finished, you want to make sure that you delete all of these .tga files. So this movie config I'm using is has this executable program here called remove tga which automatically deletes them all. And we can just delete the .wav file as well. So now that that's done, we're left with this. Then you can go ahead and edit that. Um, I have some tutorials already that I made about one to two years ago on editing. Um, lots of different effects in Counter-Strike movies and I'm starting to make some more again, so you can check them out on my channel. And subscribe, comment, like if you, if this video helped you at all. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.